be scared in Tima, that's unlike you. She's trying to get us in this little gap. I'm obviously trying to go as quietly as I can. Now, in Tima, don't let her fool you because she's being a drama queen now. She normally runs up to the cars and can't wait to say hello. No, she's just staring at us. Yes, hello, princess. Oh, she's so cute. I always find that young hyenas at this age uh, sort of resemble, I suppose, the striped hyena or even an aardvulf, if you use your imagination when they're this young. Look at her strutting her stuff. Yes, this is the greeting that I normally expect, Ntima. Hello, young lady. Oh, this is such a gorgeous creature. You know, I don't care what anybody says about hyenas. I know that the Lion King has unfortunately painted these creatures to be nasty and destructive and evil, but that's really not what they are. Hyenas are one of the most intelligent animals out here. If any animal is going to give an elephant a run for being the smartest animal in the African bush, it's definitely the hyena. The spotted hyena, uh, particularly. They've got a very intricate social structure, and I presume that that's ribbon laying there when well, it will be confirmed if young and Tima decides to suckle now we haven't been or well, I, I I can only talk again from my experience I, I seem to not have too much luck uh, with the hyenas in terms of seeing uh, massive group uh, interactions around the den every time I've come here it's one or two adults and then in Tima and then when the other little one was still around uh, but they've obviously all moved off now but I st I'm still convinced they're using another den somewhere look at her She's come so close to the car that unfortunately now you can't see her anymore. And now I've got to watch her because I don't want her to bite my tires. So while you do that, I'm going to stand up just a little bit. And I'm going to make a... Just a gentle noise, not anything subtle. I just tapped the dashboard. That's it. Very soft and subtle. You may have heard it. She can't bite the tires. She can't learn that she can touch the vehicle and pull the tailgate lights off and things like that. We don't want that. See, we don't want her to get hold of a piece of material that she's not going to be able to digest because let me tell you, like children, like dogs, young dog or any young pet, they can be quite destructive and they want to put everything in their mouths. Imagine the hyena's super sense of smell as well. Anything that has got anything to do with humans is very attractive to them. And we use hand lotions, we use body washes, we use petrol, we use all sorts of uh, things that maybe a hyena doesn't get to smell all the time. So it's new sense to them and because of their intelligence level they're of course very excited by this and especially a youngster. So just as I will reprimand an elephant bull when he gets too cheeky at the car, you need to make sure we don't let these, this little one learn that she can, um, of course, bite the tires. It'll be, it'll be terrible for us. So just a little, not I didn't even have to raise my voice, because I also don't want to, her to associate my voice with something negative, just because it's a hyena and it's not really a threat to us. So just a slight little tap, just to go, hey, that's naughty. But you can see, look how curious she is. She's gone, mom's having a sleep. Well, okay, mom, you keep relaxing. I'm just going to walk around and do my own thing. I'm going to do a bit of investigating and they are very curious so they do wonder. I don't think she's going to go too far but I wouldn't be surprised if she goes wandering during the day. These young animals just cannot help themselves. We see it with lion cubs, we see it with leopard cubs. We actually saw it really amazingly with uh, Hosanna and Shongile, how naughty the two of them were and would just go off and do their own thing whenever they wanted. There is ribbon. You can confirm for me if you'd like. You can hashtag Safari Live. It's obviously quite difficult from this angle, but I'm I'm sure it is. And she's gonna come back this way because she's bored. She didn't find anything on the other side of the den. Not bringing back a bone or a stick to chew on. <coughs> Lulu, who is also a new viewer, you say that this hyena is so fluffy. Most certainly, and it's important. We see this with uh, all the young animals out in the bush. They typically do have a fluffier coat just to keep them nice and warm during the, the cold mornings and the cold evenings. We saw it with the, the little blacksmith uh, lapwing chicks too, how fluffy they are. That's very important. But they will, they will lose it. Uh, you, you saw with mom, her coat's quite sort of smooth. So they sure this little one will lose that fluffiness. I reckon about a, maybe a year, a year and a half start to resemble more of an adult maybe even a little bit later than that how great is this i really wish we had more hyena cubs it would be so great to watch them play 
<laughs> now, a lovely question from one of our youngest viewers, Tula Ann, who's only five years old, want, uh, wanting to know if this hyena will jump into the car by accident. So, no, I don't think so, Tula Ann, but I don't know if I'd like a hyena on my lap either, so I hope not. Uh, and that's why I did what I did just now, uh, made a sort of a noise just to say, hey, hey, no, no, you need to respect the vehicle. You can come up and you can sniff, but you can't touch. And that's important that we keep that barrier between the animals. It's not uh, to allow them to touch the cars. Uh, and, and it's actually a problem we see most with elephants. Becoming quite curious again. Super sensi sensitive uh, smell. Um, so they are m very much intrigued by the different scents in the car, just as I was discussing about the hyenas. So it's important that we, we make sure we, k we keep that sort of boundary. Look at her. She's looking at a bird that just flew past. Uh, not that she'd typically be interested in wanting to hunt something like that. Obviously, the behavior between uh, lions and leopards I find completely different uh, to something like a hyena. Uh, we often see lion cubs and hyena cub, uh, lion and leopard cubs, sorry, very excited, you know, sort of wanting to stalk the birds that are coming past. It's, my goodness, some Franklins and things making big noise behind me. Actually, got the attention of the, the female hyena there. No, eyes are heavy going back to sleep again not too worried so uh, she wants to play more she's not really developing her stalking skills if anything a hyena doesn't necessarily stalk its prey try and get as close as it can because they're very good hunters but it will chase them down and use strength in numbers now I can't work out if these birds are having a territorial dispute because there's lots of Franklins calling all around me or if they're alarming but the fact that Ribbon's also gone back to sleep maybe puts my now Tiffany you're wondering uh, why don't why do we name the hyena cubs at such a young age but we're not with the leopard cubs um, I actually don't know uh, to be honest um, I wasn't involved in the naming of, of the hyenas what have you seen little one um, maybe just because maybe the hyenas have got a better success rate than the adults but then again we see suicide being performed so uh, you know it's a difficult one sorry I actually can't answer this question I have I have no idea as to how to respond to that one um, but remember these animals all of them hyenas leopards lions all these young youngsters have a very tough life and uh, the reality is is that most of them won't actually make it to adulthood at all and I think I think it's best that we try not to name things too early because you become more and more attached to them and rather just wait for them to get to a certain age. Oh, I think, you know, six months is good. A year is even better. It just depends on, I suppose, how often we see, we're seeing them too. But it is a tough one. You're very in intrigued by something. She's looking at this fallen log. So I, I know this might sound very silly. I wonder if she can hear, th like, little insects and things moving around inside that wood. Because there's no birds here that well, could get her attention. I don't know. She's looking around. I can't quite work out what. But their hearing is so good. Look at those those big round ears. Like little satellites. This is so great. How wonderful is this? I love the hyenas. I really do enjoy spending time with them. So we'll probably sit here for a little bit longer. I'm going to send you across to Byron who has arrived back at Weatella Dam.